Let me take you on a journey. I'd like you to close your eyes and think about something special, something special just for you, a place you feel most comfortable with. Just think about your parents' house, home, Christmas Eve. Think about the candles, the trees, the dishes, your grandma's apple pie on a Sunday afternoon, a cool winter day in the Alps, or a warm summer night at the Côte d'Azur. Now, think about countries you've traveled to, and think about the smell of it. India, Brazil, China. Think about the cities, London, Rio, Tokyo. Think about taking a metro in one of those cities. Think about taking a cab, a bike, and the smell of jet fuel on the tarmac as you step on an airplane. Thank you for joining. You may open your eyes now. Is that what you had in mind? Our sense of smell has a deep connection to our heart and emotion. I will talk about how to use smell to create memorable, outstanding, and unforgettable experiences which highlights human emotions. Our brain has 40 million different olfactory receptor neurons, which means that we are able to identify near endless smells and odors, positive, negative, and neutral. The olfactory neurons are the only one in the human body which get restored regularly, which means every eight, four to eight weeks. Once they are triggered, they travel through a bundle of nerves directly to their final region and destination. This means they immediately are triggering your fight or flight response, makes your mouth water, makes you recall memories, makes you cry with joy or fear, and makes your heart even jump one step higher. This is so different from how sight and sound are processed. Sight and sound first travel through a so-called relay center in the brain, which acts as a control panel before they're distributed for their, to their final destination. Smell is an indicator of well-being. It actually helps you to create extraordinary relationships, makes you feel happy or not happy, and is responsible for unforgettable magic moments. We as designers constantly question established norms in order to transform, to rethink, and to come up with competing visions of the future. It is actually on us to find the right balance between feasibility and desirability in the right constellation of user, context, and brand. In my opinion, design is still very underestimated and is so much more than just a lipstick on a pig. Design is about problem solving. It is about shaping the future and turning visions into tangible realities. We want people to feel comfortable. We want people to be happy while experiencing memorable, unforgettable moments. It may be a space, a location, a special event. It may be a room, a brand, and a product. And smell? Smell is always part of it. We um, work with people for people, which means that from our perspective, it is absolutely essential to change the perspective in the beginning of each project in order to come up with a purpose-driven solution. First, we empathize with the users by trying to get a whole understanding of the user journey, trying to get an understanding about the pains and gains and wishes and demands in order to come up with, me with meaningful new ideas and solutions. This is quite a popular method, by the way, not only for us designers, to get a very holistic understanding about um, the user's personal well-being along all touch points, including all five senses, not to forget the smell. Smells are all around us, from the smell of your cleaned house, the drink in your hand, your cleaned laundry, 
your favorite dish, your soap, your perfume, all have been carefully crafted to create a desired response with a deep understanding and knowledge of cultural and human needs, we can create lasting emotional connection. So how can Scent help us designers to create and enhance an emotional user experience in future mobility solutions? I will focus on future mobility because future mobility is one of my special interests. I identified three layers of Scent, which I'd like to introduce to you today. Let's start with the first one. Scent as an external indicator. This is already done today, so it's, I would call it business as usual. An emotional scent and a brand scent is designed to create a desire. In 2012, a famous donut brand used the smell of fresh brewed coffee to trigger a desire on their customers in Korea. They spread a specific scent in public buses and trains, which caused a 16% spike on shops located nearby. If we design public transportation systems like the subway in Munich, we think about color material finish, we think about the creation of open spaces which welcomes all different kinds of users, and we think about the creation of an atmosphere through lighting. Now, if you look at the picture, and I bet that almost all of you here in Munich have been using this metro before, but can you remember the smell of it? Or do you remember other smells, like food, cigarettes, alcohol, sweat? Now, wouldn't it be fantastic if there was, would, would be a specific smell, a good smell, which would be always connected to this metro here in Munich, maybe even to the whole city in Munich. Perhaps the fresh air of the Alps, or Clichia water, the English garden. I bet this is not really the smell which you had in mind, and I think it's such a shame and a pity that we have never been using this um, sense before. Since the olfactory senses are so deeply embedded into our human DNA, designing this interaction gives us an incredible power. We can create a positive change and a desire for a product. We can make experiences unforgettable. Which brings me to the second layer, which is one layer on top, sent as an internal indicator. This is more incremental. We are always on the move, 24, 7, 365. End-to-end -end mobility is offering us so many exciting and, at the moment, uh, new public mobility solutions. Um, so how can we actually take this possibility and bring mobility into the next level by offering a more personalized experience? Just imagine that we could increase the passengers' personal well-being by offering them the opportunity to take a customized scent along their whole journey across all different modes of public transportation. Or even, one step ahead, giving them the opportunity to take their personal scent from home along their whole journey. They could feel comfortable, secure and safe the minute they enter a new system. We need new ways to create, to generate and create trust in technology. And I believe that Send is one of our biggest hidden champions. Just imagine that in a shared mobility solution, you would be able to feel comfortable and secure and safe the second you enter an autonomous driving vehicle, or a Hyperloop pod, or a small unit on rails or an area taxi, or a shared mobility solutions. The control of all those moving units have been given away. Scent and smell will help us to create a trustful and comfortable surrounding in an increasingly autonomous moving world. There is a shift going on in society from 
striving to autonomous from ownership to access, and scent and smell will help us to feel comfortable the second we enter the systems. From smart to mindful, which can be strengthened by smell. From touch to aura, which can be reflected through smell. From control to trust, which happens unconsciously, and scent will give us the confidence. Well, in this paradigm shift, it is essential to feel comfortable, secure, and empowered, which brings me to the third, in my opinion, the most exciting and also disruptive layer, which is scent as a virtual indicator. Now, right now, we are still moving physically around the world to interact with people and communicate with people. But through a technological development, we may reduce the need of physical travel by using a virtual scent to enter a so-called holographic room to interact with people all over the world. This is virtual mobility. This room will give us the opportunity to experience virtual mobility in a totally new dimension. Introducing the sense of smell into this digital space will actually help us to, to feel virtual interaction and connection more human and real. Virtual scent is a so-called shytech solution. That means technology is hidden and supports the experience. This new trend is, can potentially ensure that the harsh boundaries between man and the digital world will blur or dissolve altogether. This will help us to create a new, better, and even more human future enabled by technology, but designed by people for people. So how great would it be if I could enter several meetings in virtual rooms within minutes all over the world or up in the cloud. Scent and smell will help us to find, to find our ways immediately. It is relatively easy to travel through, through the world zones and, and uh, virtual zones without ever being lost in translation. So if mobility of the future is perceived and realized in this way, we need additional multisensory parameters which will assist and help us to experience this no new way of traveling in a totally unforgettable uh, way. If we think now about a mixed reality solution, and imagine that I could physically happen to be in New York taking the metro from A to B, the smell which I'm experiencing emotionally and physically can be transferred to my partner who maybe is situated on the other side of the globe, but is virtually giving me a company on my journey. This will open tremendous boundaries, as we will be able to experience mobility on all three layers in a totally new way. The exciting thing is targeting the olfactory senses in this way has strategically applied never been before. The concept of multi-sensory design has existed for a very long time. It underlines the story and an attitude. It takes a leading or supporting role in order to communicate one clear message. It is like being a chef, where scents are the ingredients in cooking up a unique and intense moment. The goal is to communicate one clear message by stimulating the olfactory senses and, at the very end, to create magical, unforgettable moments. It will influence our lives. It will be the next passionate dimension of travel, not limited to time, dimension, environment and people. It will reduce the fear of technology and will increase trust. We need to balance and bring it together in a meaningful way, and the olfactory sense will help us to give it a human shape. I'd like to end with a dream I had exactly 20 years ago. When I moved to Chicago, the thing I missed most was the fresh air of the Swiss countryside where I grew up. 
the smell of chocolate in the air, the water while showering, the smell of home. I would have done everything to just be me over to Europe for a bit. While in the world which I just described, this would have been possible and I could have felt home instantly. So virtual mobility will connect people on the highest level of experience through the olfactory senses. And isn't that what design is all about? So let's make it real.